Greetings Ghost Gang, welcome to another indie horror game. Today's video we are going to be playing Civvy's Factory. So this is apparently a mascot horror game just like Poppy Playtime and Garna Bam Bam and all those. And from what I'm seeing this seems like it's going to be a good one. So let's hop right into this. Also I turned it off but they gave you the option to cheat. <laughs> I don't know why that would be on there but anyways let's play. Unless that has to be on, I don't know. Welcome to the Civis Factory. We are more than company. We are family. Together, we are working to fulfill our common dream. We use advanced technologies in our production grid. Our production is managed by our best invention. CV, biggest artificial intelligence worldwide. Our hard-working team works day and night to bring joy to your homes. Your desires are limited only by your imagination. We produce toys, tools, even jetpacks. We can literally make everything. Become a member of our big family. Hmm. Find your brother. I mean, he lives in the same city as me. So it shouldn't be too hard to find. I have his address. Whoa! I like how this looks. Also, are there subtitles? Well, it doesn't say. Okay. Well. Hopefully. So you can run, you can jump. Yeah, toggle crouch. I like toggling. Toggling's fun. I like how this looks. First impressions are really good. Alright, well. Got the control room. Got some sort of mural here. Can't say anything with that. I just picked up something. Financial health update. James Vault. What's the situation? Our company is facing some financial issues right now. Here's a quick rundown. Declining profits. What's happening? We've been making less profit over the past, past few months. Why it matters. Less profit means we have less money to invest in new projects to pay for things we need. Cash flow problems. What's happening? We often run into problems with having enough cash on hand because of slow payments and mismatched timing of income and expenses. Why it matters. Without enough cash, we might miss payments or struggle to keep operations smooth. Rising costs. What's happening? Our costs are going up, especially for materials, utilities, and labor. Why it matters. Higher costs reduce our profit margins and put a strain on our budget. What's next? We need to address these issues and stabilize our finances and ensure we can continue to operate efi efficiently contact information. For more details, feel free to reach out to me, James Volt. Okay. Dear team, this is to inform you of a critical situation that has arisen on the third floor of our facility. We have encountered an unexpected issue that requires immediate attention and action. At this time, we urge all employees to adhere to the following guidelines. Stay away from the third floor. For your safety, please do not enter the third floor area until further notice access will be restricted to emergency personnel only. 2. Follow safety protocols. Please ensure you are you are following all safety protocols in your respected areas. This includes wearing personal protective equipment, PPE, if required. Monitor updates. We will provide updates as the situation develops. It is vital that you stay informed. Please check your emails and company communication channels regularly. 4. Report any concerns. If you notice any suspicious activities or have information related to the situation, please report it immediately to your supervisor or the safety team. We appreciate your cooperation and professionalism during this critical time. The safety and well-being of our employees remains our top priority. Thank you for understanding. Sure, no problem. That's a note. Can't look at that. And there's one more computer. Dear colleagues, please be advised that access to the sixth floor of our premises is currently restricted. At this time, only senior management staff are permitted to access this floor. For any requests or inquiries regarding access to the 6th floor, please contact your direct supervisor or reach out to the Corporate Security Department. Thank you for understanding and thank you for your understanding and cooperation. Best regards, James Volt, Administrative Director. 
Oh, this guy sends out a lot of stuff. Alright, so hub or control room. I picked up something right there. It's a lever or whatever. Doesn't go there. What's this? There's another one over here. This panel is broken. I need a lever to fix this. Oh, there you go, Felix. There you go. And that should give us... What, exactly? Can I pull down both of these now? Okay. And that gives us option to the hub and control room? unlocked. We'll go down there momentarily. Welcome to the factory. Okay, we're going down there now. Some freaky eyes. Jeez. And they're also looking at me. I think. So this is what my brother was working on. I hope I'll find some information about him here. No, you'll probably find his body. Alright, so what do we got going on here? Hub. What's all the hubbub? What is that? Hello, my name is CV. How can I help you? Uh, Scan the complex to see if someone is here. I am detecting some activity on the sixth floor. So I need to go there then. The complex is not working properly. To get to the sixth floor, you need to have the control module. Go to sector one to power up the printing machine and print the cartridge to get access to the room with the control module. Fine. <laughs> Love your enthusiasm. Can't do nothing with these? Okay, what we got here? Dear colleagues, I am pleased to announce an important achievement by our team. We have successfully completed the development of our new artificial intelligence-based software, Civi. This project is the result of hard work and coordinated efforts across all departments. Our new solution promises to make a significant contribution to improving internal processes and meeting our clients' needs. We are confident that its implementation implementation geez will open up new opportunities will open up new opportunities for us and help strengthen the company's position in the market. Thank you for your work and support. Best regards, James Volt, Administrative Director. Wow, I'm having a hard time reading today. Alright. What's this? I got a sneeze. <laughs> Alright, sector one. It is now open. Said it was closed. Find the control panels to turn the printer on. Okay. This mechanism is made for powering up the coils. I'm just pressing random buttons. Interesting. Do I need that on? What's that? Technical equipment? His eyes are lit up. Why is he the only one with the lit up eyes? Danger. Giant turtle. Official document. Administrative director, management, technical department. The 21st of October, 2026. Testing report of Grumpy. Dear colleagues, we would like to inform you about the testing of the model 363GL1337, Grumpy which has successfully undergone trials at our production site. During the testing, a minor malfunction was recorded in the operation of the device, which occurred during the execution of one of the programs. However, after initial analysis and run rerunning the test, the issue was no longer observed. The updated software algorithm is successfully handling this assigned test, and this incident is not a cause for concern. We recommend continuing to monitor the invention performance over the next period to ensure its stability and prevent any reoccurrence of the incident. Thank you for your attention and support. Regards, William 1K, assistant on the factory. 
Okay. You need to find one more panel. I don't know if I want to go in front of that one. Okay, weird. What I do? I'm just pressing buttons and I don't know what they're doing. Okay, it opened that. Dave, can you believe it, Mike? We're officially the only factory powered by actual happiness. Happiness? Does that mean we're gonna start bottling laughter for energy? Because I'm pretty sure I just end up with a bunch of dad jokes. Exactly. And look at our machine. It runs on smiles and high fives. I'm not sure the robots are ready for my level of sarcasm. Come on. You know they need it. Look at the one over there. It's assembling parts with a frown. That's not a frown. That's a malfunction. You can't just cheer it up with your motivational quotes. Have you tried? Maybe I should start sending to it. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Knowing you, it might short circuit from the cringe. Hey, that's a classic. Besides, I've got Future Factory's latest invention to cheer up everyone up. Uh, the Future Factory's latest invention to cheer everyone up. What? A laughoscope? Because last time you tried to cheer someone up, the coffee machine went on strike. No, better. A moodomatic. It changes the factory ambience based on our vibes. Great. So if I'm in a bad mood, it'll light everything on fire. <laughs> well, I didn't think about that. But maybe just a disco ball and some funky lights? Because nothing says let's work harder like flashing lights and polyester suits. Imagine the productivity employees will be dancing between stations. Right, until one of those disco balls falls on a robot and we've got a breakdancing assembly line. And then the robots can join in, a dance-off competition with the machines. I can see it now. Last bot standing gets a raise. And the winner gets to choose the next week, next work playlist. Okay, but can we agree on no more 80s power ballets? That's a guaranteed factory shutdown. No promises. You might just have to start a robot rebellion. I can see the headlines now. Factory workers trade in tools for turtlenecks. All hail the robot DJ. <laughs> Alright. So I just opened up whatever that is over here. Now you can go to the second sector. Ah. Now I have a feeling I'm about to be chased by a giant turtle. Get everything you want. I knew it! Where'd that turtle go? Turtle time. Wait, how do I get through that? Oh, wait, I need to flip the switch. Wait, do I? Wait, what'd I do? Can I turn those off? I just screw myself? Print what you want. Make it fun. Is that gonna shock me? Well, one way to find out. <laughs> yeah. All right. to turn the printer on. Really? I wonder, can I... You need to find one more panel. Can I... Jeez. Can I shock him? Okay. 
Okay, hold on. I might be able to shock him. This invention wasn't created to harm human beings. The door is locked. You need to find three electrical panels to overload the electric grid to open the door. Okay, here's one. Where'd he go? Oh! Oh, I can't even do those now. Ooh. How do I do that? Okay. I see what you want me to do. You want me to connect them. Ooh, I probably could have got that last one. I'll swing around. It's not the end of the world. So, and then there's two more panels I gotta do, eh? There's one. Is that the one over here? Yeah, there you go. Last one's at the exit, she said? Oh yeah, I see it. What the heck? That was dark. Okay, go, 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 go. I don't think I could jump over the railing. I was gonna try that, but I'm not gonna risk that. I could do this jump. That would have sucked if there was fall damage. I thought there was a hole! Oh! Oh, man. Okay, then. That was quite interesting. Where is this going to drop me now? Now you can go to the second sector. Oh, really? This invention wasn't created to harm human beings. The door is locked. You need to find three electrical panels to overload the electric grid to open the door. Oh, that was close. 
Alright, so did I have the right idea that I have to shock him? Alright, we'll quickly do these again. I thought I would have got that. The last panel is close to the exit. Am I supposed to trap him in there? I don't know if there's enough time to do so. You can't jump over that. Okay, I'm free to go. Okay, I thought I had to get rid of him or something. But no, I just had to do that. So I was fine the first time. All right. There you go. All right, sector two. You need to power up the coils to take the control module. Okay. This mechanism is broken. The missing part should be somewhere here. Okay. Did I just get punched up by a clock? That didn't even scare me. There was a little uh, delay. You need to power up the coils to take the control module. Okay. This mechanism is broken. The missing part should be somewhere here. So do I have to do this and then... wait. Can I even grab that? It is a clock. <laughs> Alright, do I have to be fast or something? You need to power up the coils to take the control module. What the hell? I'm confused about this part. Because there's only just that one uh, thing that I can turn. And I can't go back? No. You need to power up the coils to take the control module. Is there another one over here? This mechanism is broken. The missing part should be somewhere here. Or am I looking for the lever? Oh. Okay. So 
So am I good to grab that now? Weird. What was that? It was a clock. I can't find anything in a database. It was a clock monkey. Okay, so I guess I'm leaving. Sensors detected his activity on the fourth floor. Okay. Elevator. Because I'm just going in. Oh, that's where it ends. Okay. Well, there you go, everyone. That was, uh... Civvy's Factory. Oh, what did I think about this? I enjoyed it. I was a little confused there with, uh... The turtle, though. Because I thought I had to get rid of it with the electricity. But I guess that's just to, uh, stun it. And then, uh, the clock there, I... I know she was saying it's around here somewhere, but I thought I had to shock that one side to disrupt the clock. And then I can grab that, but... That's fine. I enjoyed it. So, looking forward to the next one. I'll keep an eye out on it. Yeah, let me know what you thought about this down in the comments below. It's pretty much just another uh, Poppy Playtime Garna Bam Bam type game. Which, there's nothing wrong with that. He's, he's, uh, this person's going all out with this song. Freddie Evans? Yeah, so I'm interested with the story too. I wish there was a little bit more, but uh, I'm sure we'll get more in the next game. But yeah, I really hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe with the notification bell if you're new. We've got lots of horror games to play on this channel, lots of games in general to do. So I hope you're all in it for the long haul. At least I got jump scared by both the enemies. So that's good. Got to showcase those. But well, there you go. That was Civvy's Factory, everyone. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.